The Citizens Advisory Group recommendation is to build a new Charger Stadium in Mission Valley, but the Chargers preferred site is downtown San Diego and the Carson City proposal is still on the table for a joint stadium with the Oakland Raiders. Here with the Chargers point of view and to talk about the next steps is special counsel to San Diego Chargers, Mark Fabiano. Mark, thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, what do the Chargers think that the downtown site for a new Charger Stadium is better than Mission Valley? Well, we worked on Mission Valley for six years of our 14 years of work on a stadium in San Diego and we abandoned it we thought for good reason we moved downtown because we thought downtown was a place where you could build a multi-use facility that would be used for more than just football games much more attractive to voters and well it could be financed through a hotel tax which residents don't really pay tourists pay it so we thought it was a more attractive option for voters and the big problem with Mission Valley is the timeline the cost what is it well Mission Valley is a complicated site it's not even owned by the city half of its owned by the water department so the city would have to buy its half from the water department uh, the site has pollution underneath it from a plume that's caused by leaking fuel tanks nearby uh, the community there is very much against a huge development as they should be because that community is awfully crowded the way it is uh, so the list goes on and on of reasons why it's very complicated to build anything in Mission Valley the advisory group is going to present its financing plan for the Mission Valley right. site uh, at the end of May what would you like that financing plan to include? Well, it has to include three things. One, it has to be something that voters will support. It can't be something that looks good on a piece of paper but will never be adopted by the voters. Second, it has to have a plan that can be enacted in a reasonable amount of time. In other words, if it includes some mega development project to help pay for it, that's not going to work because that will take many, many years to go through the entitlement process. Uh, and third, it has to have a stadium that costs a realistic amount of money. Not what a stadium cost five years ago or even what it costs today. Day, but what it's going to cost in 2019 or 2020 when the actual building of this stadium would begin. Those are the three biggest factors. Speaking of cost, what would the cost of a new stadium in San Diego be compared to the Carson City cost? It would be less because we're building it for just one team. We'd also be building a smaller stadium. Uh, the most recent example of a stadium being built is San Francisco, which cost about $1.2 billion. Minnesota's building a stadium now, it's costing more than that. Atlanta's building a stadium now, costing more than that. So we're using San Francisco as kind of our guidepost. That's the one that's been built most recently. Um why do the Chargers support a financing plan in the Carson City proposal that doesn't require taxpayer money, but here in San Diego it would require taxpayer it, it, money? It's a great question. I gave three speeches last week here in San Diego, and that was the number one question I got at all three. And the answer is simple. That market is very different in Los Angeles and Orange County and the Inland Empire. There are 22 million people within striking distance of that stadium in Carson, and that means you can sell preferred seat licenses, you can sell luxury suites, you can sell naming rights, you can sell basically everything for a lot more than you can sell them for here in San Diego. If we could get those prices in San Diego, we wouldn't need a public subsidy here either, but, but you can't. This is a different market. It's a smaller market. Uh, the Raiders can still back out of the Carson That's City correct. proposal. I understand there's a lot of talk that the, the Raiders owners is like, you know, dedicated to staying in Oakland. Uh, if they backed out, would the Chargers be able to finance the stadium in Carson City on their own? Well, we're dedicated to staying in San Diego as well. So the, the best solution for everybody is Oakland gets a deal there. We get a deal here in San Diego. That's the best solution. But if that didn't work out and Oakland made a deal with the Raiders and we don't get a deal in San Diego, we would proceed with the Carson project on our own. We can finance it on our own if we need to. And how would you be able to finance it since it's more expensive? Well, it's less expensive if you're building just for one team than two teams and you're getting 100 percent of the market. You're not dividing the market with another team. So in the end, it's pretty much of a wash. You can finance it with two teams or with one team uh, pretty much the same way. What is your response briefly to criticism of saying that this is a bluff? You're just doing this to kind of <laughs> strong arm the city into giving you a better deal in San Diego. Again, if people think that, they have the right to think that. It's not our job to talk them out of that. I would just say look at the last 14 years of work. Dean Spanos and his family have never bluffed before. They've never made a threat to the city before. They've had plenty of opportunities to relocate to Los Angeles. Many different stadiums have been proposed up there. They've never taken any of those opportunities. But again, people can think what they want. If, if they think it's a bluff, they should just... I guess keep watching, see what happens. If the Mission Valley site is the chosen site, um, would the Chargers stay beyond next season? We'd have to look at the plan that the task force comes up with. If it's a plan that can work, that has a realistically costed out stadium that is actually going to be voted on by the people and enacted, then of course we, we would 
play there. If we could make it work, we would play there for sure. What do you want to tell the fans uh, about char the Chargers' commitment to staying in San Diego? I would ask them to look at the last 14 years of work that we've done, look at all the money that we've spent, and I would ask them to pretend that this was their business. Would they allow one or two other teams to move into a nearby market, Los Angeles County and Orange County, take 25% of the business, and then leave you here in San Diego with an ancient stadium at that point and no options? Most people wouldn't wouldn't do that if it was their all business. All right. Well, we will hopefully be talking to you more Absolutely. about this in the future. Mark Fabiano, thanks so much for the My update. My pleasure.